All right, what up and welcome to a new show on the Tram YouTube page. It's called Mount Rushmore and pretty much it's gonna be, you know, the four horsemen, eh? uh, the four musketeers, just pretty much in general, the top tiers of any topic I decide. And so to, for today's episode, we got rappers. Now, when I think about, you know, I'm uh, doing the rappers, I'd say you wanna take, take for this Mount Rushmore, um, you want to take uh, probably a rapper from each region of the U.S. I'd say the U.S., you know, there's different ones, but, you know, there represents the East, West, South, North, you know, and bring them all together. That's my Mount Rushmore. So let's start with the East. You already know. Big Dog, Big E. Big E has great albums. He... He just, um, I mean, he's only got two. He's only got two albums, but, you know, those damn near front to back, you know, just, you know, lead hip hop. It represents, you know, uh, Brooklyn and just where he's from. He's great at storytelling, you know, has great lyrics. And, you know, when you think of hip hop, Biggie is one of the names that you think of when, when you're coming up. So we're going to put it down. Biggie is first on the Mount Rushmore. All right, West Side, West Side. Now, remember, these these are my personal favorites, you know, of, of, of each, uh, you know, of each region. But, you know, people might have different opinions, but the person that I feel really, you know, just, you know, just sort of screams West Side rap, you know, just, Hip hop icon of the West Side. There's so many, but I'm gonna have to go with Ice Cube. Ice Cube, he's always been my favorite. I was a fan of Ice Cube before I was a fan of NWA. Uh, I've always loved, loved gangster rap. I loved his gangster rap, and he he's done so much. He, I love his albums, uh, and you know, I love his movies. He's just, uh, he does so many other projects other than just music, but you know, for this specifically, you know, Ice Cube has that history because uh, with all of his all of his movies comes his music. So you know, you always make sure to hear the music, and, and you know, with Cube, like I wouldn't choose you know Easy or Dre or or Kendrick or you know big big uh, West Side hip hop names, but only because, you know, Cube all, always, he always kept it real. He always, you know, just had that raw talent. He could go solo. You know, NWA wouldn't have been NWA without Cube for sure. Like with the writing, most of the hits are, are amazing. So we got Cube representing the West Side on our uh, Mount Rushmore list. Yeah, this is stacked. Now the South. The South, here we go. There's a bunch of, you know, Southern rappers, a bunch of people, I mean, but as far as like from the South and, actually there's a lot. There's a lot of icons from the South, but my personal favorite, one I grew up on, one a bunch of people grew up on, sort of really defined the South, Lil Wayne is definitely on the South for my Mount Rushmore. I'm trying to think of other ones, but I, I honestly can't think of any others that that would even come close to Wayne. Well, for me, for me, it it's no contest. Like Lil Wayne is the guy. Like he he legit, um, you know, changes sound. Like I like I grew up on multiple of, of his albums. Like I prefer. Uh, <laughs> people always give me stuff for this, but I I like the Carter Four better than the Carter Three. I, the Carter Four, I, I grew up on, and there's a lot of good, good uh, songs on there. I love the Carter Three, but you know, it just I love the Carter Four better, and so I just feel like he gives us that, you know, he's so unique, and he's inspired multiple generations ahead, and I think that's the reason he has to, you know, like everybody is trying to be like, well, not trying to be like Wayne, but you know, a lot of the rappers now they sound like Wayne, they, like they grew up on him and you know right now it's just a big old wave of rappers who 
you know, either sound like Wayne or sound like a little, uh, young thug. And, you know, it's, it's a whole genre and it, it's working, still working. And so the fact that Lil Wayne was, you know, sort of the, I, I call him the godfather of, you know, I guess, you know, Southern rap, you know, you know, just bring out the raw talent that, that comes out of the South. He, he was the guy to do that. So let's put his name down, Lil Wayne. That's a good list. It's a good list to me because, you know, I just, I, I enjoy all three of them. All right. Last, not least, The North. The North. Now, this one, I think I might have it tied, to be honest. As far as The North goes, I got it tied. Now, don't, don't trip. Like, this Mount Rushmore is going to have two, an extra head, but... For the North, I gotta go Eminem and Drake. Yeah, I just said Drake. Drake for sure. You know, um, let's talk about Eminem first. So Eminem, I've always grown up on his music. I feel like he's been mad wild consistent. He's he's dropped albums in 2021. I'm, I'm pretty sure. Or last year. No, he dropped an album last year then did the... I can't remember the like the Lux version uh, in 2021. But you know, if you look at, go down his history, it's like he, he just stays consistent with every few years dropping an album or every couple years dropping an album and has been that way for 20, 25 years. And so Eminem for sure has to stay on there. And Drake, Drake is just my favorite, you know, he, he's my favorite rapper. Um, I get a lot of flack for that, but you know, I just like his sound. He, you know, he has a lot of, uh, diversity when it comes to music. He could sing, he could do multiple different styles and still don't make, and he sort of, I feel like on this Mount Rushmore, he brings that sort of, um, you know, the, the new sound of rap, you know, he brings that along with Wayne, that new sound of rap. Cause you know, if we had just a bunch of guys from the, 80s and nine, uh, 80s, 90s, or or 2000s. I mean, you know, it just would. But he brings that the new one because he's ran the decade past the past 10 years, 2010s. You cannot tell me anything else. He did for sure. So there, there, we, there. You have it. Got our Mount Rushmore going. And uh, so so far, uh, or here's what we decided. Final Mount Rushmore. I'm locking this one in. I got Biggie, Ice Cube, Lil Wayne, Drake, and Eminem. That's five heads, but it works. So that's another episode. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe. You know, comment your your Mount Rushmore on this topic. Uh, you know, your top four rappers. You know, it's just all opinions. You know, it's it's what you think. So comment below, and I'll see you on the next episode.